Hello friends, in this video I shall show you how to debug a stored procedure in SQL Server using VU Studio 2022. We shall start by creating a stored procedure, running it in SQL Server Management Studio and then debug it step by step in Visual Studio. So by the end of this video, you shall know how to create a stored procedure, run it in SQL Server Management Studio and then debug it using Visual Studio 2022. I already have a database named customer db. Okay, first I create a stored procedure. Uh, before I create a stored procedure, let me show you uh, tables I have in this database. I have some tables like customer, employee salary, orders, products, sales count. We shall create a stored procedure to get the customer orders count for a specific customer. So let's start creating a stored procedure. This stored procedure takes two parameters, customer ID and total orders. It gives us a result set for a customer based upon the customer ID. And in our output parameter, we shall get the total orders uh, that customer has placed. I execute it. Okay, so stored procedure is ready. So let's test this stored procedure in management studio. As the uh, stored procedure takes two parameters like customer ID and output parameter total orders so we provide two parameters customer id for example i am providing here one and for total orders it's an output parameter so it will we will provide it as it is so it will give us total customers orders count as well so let's run it okay so it's providing us the information of the customer who how many order he has placed so he has placed only one order now let's debug this stored procedure I open the Visual Studio, click on View, SQL Server Object Explorer. Okay, we have SQL Server, we need to add a connection. So I add SQL Server. So for server name, I go to Management Studio back. Either you can get your server name from here and copy it, or you can click on it, go to connection, click change connection, and you can get server name from here as well. I go back to Visual Studio, provide server name, when you try to connect it's giving some certificate error so just change the value to true connect it go your database go to programmability so okay this is our stored procedure right click on it and debug procedure so it will open debugging window so put customer id like for example i put one and leave the total order as empty because it's our output parameter Okay, so it has opened stored procedure in debug mode. When we click on F10, the debugger will move to the next line. So now we want to go inside this stored procedure and debug it. So click on F11 to go inside this stored procedure. Okay, so uh, I am inside this stored procedure. I click on F10. F10. Okay, so first it get the total order count in this output parameter. So we can see what its value here. You can even go to quick watch and see the total orders value here is one. Okay, so uh, click F10, F10. Okay, so stored procedure has been executed. So it has provided us the customer order information as well as uh, printing total orders for that customer. So that's it. I hope this short tutorial was helpful to you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this, right? Thanks for watching.